Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a PDF into an interactive worksheet that also auto corrects. This is made possible by a website called liveworksheets.com. Uh, and today I'm going to show you some of the basic steps. So let's head over to liveworksheets.com. The first thing we're going to do is create an account. I already have my account. So when you make yours, you'll be greeted with this uh, kind of home screen. Um, in the top left hand corner, you can read about the site or you can uh, browse more interactive worksheets. There are loads to choose from in many different languages. But for this video, I'm going to focus on how we can create one. So click on Make Interactive Worksheets. Get started. And let's choose a file. You can choose maybe docx, pdf, jpeg, and so on. OK, I'm going to upload this one. Click Upload. Great, and now we can directly start creating text boxes within this PDF. There we go, excellent. I'm gonna quickly show you now how we can move a text box around the screen, just in case. You have to put your cursor in the center of the text box and then you can start moving it. Uh, sometimes I create a text box that is too small or too big. Uh, then you have to hover your cursor over the the line of the text box, the edge, and then you can make it smaller. Uh, now I can start copying and pasting these text boxes. Cool. Uh, but for this video, I'm only going to do two of the answers. Um, there you go, and this one. Just to give you an example of what it will look like for me and a student. I'm going to, now I can view this. As a student, so press preview here. Good, that's what they will see. Excellent. I'm going to save it now. You have two options. You can share it with other teachers publicly, or you can keep it private. If you want to share it uh, publicly, uh, the PDF will have to be your own creation, um, as you could end up breaking copyright laws if it isn't. As I scanned the PDF from a book, I'm going to keep it privately, like I always do, just in case. Um, at the moment, I'm on a free plan, so I can save up to 30 private worksheets at any one time. So as soon as I reach maybe 30, I can delete some old ones. I just keep doing that. However, at the moment, if you look at the plans that they have, live worksheets, um, they have all their plans are free until end of 2021. This is amazing. Um, so if I were you guys, subscribe now. Um, any other time, it would be obviously, you have to pay the monthly fee. The free account, I don't mind. I don't have many classes anyway. Um, so the private worksheets that I can have are 30 at any one time, which is fine. But tomorrow I'm gonna probably subscribe to this account, Teacher250. That will give me 125 worksheets in my account. Okay, so take advantage of that. Um, let's go back. I'm going to save this worksheet now privately. I'm going to give it a name. It's a reading activity. Good. I can open that worksheet now, or I can open it from my account settings here, from my list. Let's open it up. And there you go. That is my worksheet being created for my students. I'm going to share this now with my students. A great feature straight off the bat is add to Google Class Classroom. Amazing, essential. Um, but for this video, I'm going to copy the link. There you go. And I'm going to paste that into another browser. There you go. Okay, this is when your students will fill this form in. And when they have, they can press finish. The student, though, will need something very important, which is 
teacher ID and this lives in your account here. Teacher code, sorry. So copy and paste that because they will need that. So, it, so what you can do is when you send the link in Google Classroom or email, make sure you also provide the key code as well. Let's go back to the worksheet. Let's complete the worksheet as a student would. There you go. And they're going to finish this. You have two options. Check my answers or email, or email my answers to my teacher. Um, you don't need to give them an email, obviously, as they have the, the kind of teacher code. Um, let's click on this one. Enter your teacher's email or key code. I'm going to paste in my key code that I copied earlier. Full name. Paco Garcia, for example, level level eight and English. Cool. They're gonna send that now. Oh. Can't spell English. Oh. English, there you go. Um, I'm gonna send that now. There you go. The student can see now their score. Uh, well, I think which is good. Uh, they can get direct and get feedback straight away from their answers. Uh, and at the teacher's end of things, if you refresh the page, there you go. There's a gold bell. Uh, click on there. That will go to my notifications. And as you can see, Paco Garcia done an exercise for me and he scored a 10. You got them both correct. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, that's it. Now, another thing you might want to do is to edit a worksheet. So I'm going to go back to my worksheets. I have one here. Click on this one. I started earlier. It's a little verb test. And I want to edit it. So click edit. And I want to create another text box here. There you go. And here as well. Okay. I'll put it. Good. I'm going to put the answers now. There you go. And what you must do now is you must save it. Um, I had other colleagues not just leaving the screen and not saving it. So click on again the tick that box there. And then you must give it a name. It's the same name. I want to keep it private. And it's replacing the one that I've just already done. So there you go. And that's save worksheet. Excellent. Let's go back to my worksheets. There you go. Well, I hope this has been useful for you and uh, you can take advantage of the free plans that Live Worksheets have at the moment. Um, any questions, please leave them below and please subscribe. Thank you.